Welcome back everybody to Gemology for Schmucks. My name is Peter Nelson and I'm here to tell you everything that you need to know about gemstones. So today we're going to take a little bit of a break from all the academia. Okay, a little bit of a break. There's still some academia. But what we're going to be talking about is actually what's in this case right here. So we're going to need the things that are in here and we're also going to need one of these, which is a three-way torch. You can only have a two-way torch and that's okay as well. And what do I mean by that? We're going to have one that is white light and one that is yellow light. That's what's important here. Some people will use an incandescent or an electric light and then a lighter actually. And what that actually does is it gives you two different sets of colors that are being emitted by the light source. And so what that's going to do is tell us about what's in here. So come on over. Right here in this octagon step cut shape is a color change fluorite. And you'll see that in incandescent light, it's more of a purple. Very similarly here, right with our star sapphire, you'll see that it's also got a strong purple element. And right here we have a color change spinel from Vietnam that when it's in incandescent light or this yellow LED has a very strong red component inside of its purple. So now let me show you what it looks like in white light. We have purple and blue. We've got purple, then blue. A strong red component in there, boom, violet. We've got a color change garnet right here that also has a very strong orangey red component. And then when we switch over into white light, boom. And right here, our alexandrite in the white light, you can see that it's quite green. When we go to incandescent light, it takes on a much more golden appearance. Green, gold. And one more time all the way through just for fun. And that's all because of the phenomena called color change. So let's pump our brakes here for a second. Phenomena, it's like phenomenal. That pizza that I was eating on was totally phenomenal. Yeah, something like that, but a little bit more supernatural. It's still natural, but it's super. So in many of our previous episodes, we've talked about gemstones getting their color from selective absorption of light. So what that means is that when light goes into the stone, certain colors are absorbed by the stone. Everything else is rejected and returned to our eye. And that's what we see as color. Well, color change phenomena takes that one step further. Typically, it's because of the trace elements inside of the stone that give it color that cause this. But what happens is in certain wavelengths of light, the colors that are being absorbed allow us to see whatever's mixing and left over. And so we see that as, oh, let's say something like purple. And then if you change light sources, you go over to the lighter or you go to an incandescent light, something quite a bit warmer that has less wavelengths of light, the wavelengths that are being absorbed by the stone are the same, but then the colors that are being rejected to us are a different pattern of colors. And so what happens is the stone might go from purple to being green. Yes, it's possible. In fact, that's exactly how alexandrite, which we have a piece of right here, got its tagline, emerald by day, ruby by night. Because in sunlight, world-class alexandrite actually looks green. It was originally mistaken for emeralds when it was found in Russia. But in the warm light of gas lamps, it turns red. Same thing can be accomplished with a lighter or to a somewhat lesser effect, also the yellow light in a three-way torch. This is LED, so naturally it's going to have a different set of colors that are being projected as opposed to something like firelight or the sun. So each of the stones that are in front of me exhibit color change. Some people will argue color shift, but I've yet to hear a distinct line being drawn between color change and color shift. Typically sapphires that go between blue and purple are given the term color shift. I don't know why, maybe they think it's less distinct. Sounds like a marketing thing to me. But anyhow, as a review, we've been talking about color change today, which is one of our gemstone phenomena, which is a natural thing that happens when gemstones, certain gemstones, are exposed to light. That includes things like color change that we talked about today. It also includes what we call the cat's eye effect or chatoyancy and the star effect or asterism. And there's several other phenomena, but they all have to do with light. One of the things that I love most about gemstones, not only are they beautiful, but they show us that in different contexts, materials and in fact people behave differently. 
So when you have stones that are exposed to different types of light, you may see a different color, just as people, when you put them in different social situations, will act differently. Keep that in mind next time when you're having a family feud. So as always, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell all of your friends, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.